Man bro, Basin. Okay, let's read Mangla Charm prayers. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Magnana Timirandasya Gananjana Salakaya. Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. Sri Chaitanya Mano Bistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Svayam Rupa Kadamahyam Dharati Svaparantikam. Vandeham Sri Guru Sri Yutapata Kamalam Sri Gurun Vaishnavam Scha Sri Rupam Sagrijatam Saganaraguna Tanvitam Tam Sajivam Sarvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Saganalalita Sri Visakanvitam Scha He Krishna Karuna Sindo Dina Bando Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneswari Prisabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpatarupyascha Kripa Sindhu Pyae Pacha Patitanam Pavane Pyo Vaishnave Pyo Namo Namaha Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Veranta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Shunyapadi Pashata Rishatarine Jasri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Kadadara Sri Vasadi Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Prabhus, can you see this list in the group? If you go to the Ayaskam Vaishnav Sangha group and you go to the participants list, can you see all the participants or only? Mm, only the admins, Prabhu. Okay, good. Okay, good then. Because there was some crazy guy and we were scared that he will message everyone like one by one with his nonsense. That person, Hare Krishna Prabhu, I don't know his name, but he was just only saying that, no, I want to live in his country, want to live in Iskand, that thing. Yeah, he is some crazy. He just messaged me and, yeah, he's some crazy fellow. <laughs> I tried yeah. to call him, but he didn't answer me. I, I, I just you know, asked him that, what is your name? Where do you live? Or how much yeah. many rounds you chant? I know, do you read Shila Prabhupada books? He is not interested. He is not interested to answer yeah. those things. Just interested to, you know, what, uh, you know, teasing me, arguing yeah. with me. He said, "I don't care about ISK, yeah, but still, he's coming to our group, so that's kind of funny. We don't go to their group and shout there that, oh, we don't care about this call. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. They have too much time, I think. Okay, Haribo, we can start. Chapter 6. Perception of the Super Soul. Prashantamanasam yenam yoginam sukhamuttamam upayati chanta rajasam brahmabhutam akalmasham. The yogi whose mind is fixed on me verily attains the highest happiness. By virtue of his identity with Brahman, he is liberated. His mind is peaceful, his passions are quieted, and he is freed from sin. Yunjan evam sadatmanam yogi vikata kalmasa sukhena brahma sam samsparsam atyantam sukhamashnute. Steady in the self, being freed from all material contamination, the yogi achieves the highest perfectional stage of happiness in touch with the supreme consciousness. Bhagavad Gita 628. So here is the perfection. The yogi whose mind is fixed on me, since Krishna is speaking, the me refers to Krishna. If I'm speaking and saying, give me a glass of water, I do not intend that the water be supplied to someone else. We must therefore clearly understand that since Bhagavad Gita is spoken by Sri Krishna, when he says unto me, he means unto Krishna. Unfortunately, there are many commentators who deviate from these clear instructions. I do not know why their motives are no doubt nefarious. Sarvabhutas tamatmanam sarvabhutani chatmani ikshate yoga yuktatma sarvatra samadarshana. A true yogi observes me in all beings and also sees every being in me. 
Indeed, the self-realized man sees me everywhere. Sarva Bhutas Tam Atmanam, a true yogi, observes me in all beings. How is this possible? Some people say that all beings are Krishna and that therefore there is no point in worshipping Krishna separately. Consequently, such people take to humanitarian activities, claiming that such work is better. They say, why should Krishna be worshipped? Krishna says that one should see Krishna in every being. Therefore, let us serve Daridra Narayana. The man in the street. Such misinterpreters do not know that the proper technique do not pro know the proper techniques which have to be learned under a bona fide spiritual master. A true yogi is as explained before is the devotee of Krishna, and the most advanced devotee goes forth to preach Krishna consciousness. Why? Because he sees Krishna in all beings. How is this? Because he sees that all beings are part and parcel of Krishna. He also understands that since these beings have forgotten Krishna, it is his duty to awaken them to Krishna consciousness. Sometimes missionaries go forth to educate primitive, uneducated people just because they see that they are human beings and so deserve to be educated in order to understand the value of life. This is due to the missionary's sympathy. The devotee is similarly motivated. He understands that everyone should know himself to be part and parcel of Krishna. The devotee understands that people are suffering due to their forgetfulness of Krishna. Thus the devotee sees Krishna in everything. He is not under the illusion that everything has become Krishna. Rather, he sees every living being as the son of God. If I say that this boy is the son of Mr. Johnson, do I mean that this boy is Mr. Johnson himself? I may see Mr. Johnson in this boy because this boy is his son, but this, this, the distinction remains. If I see every living being as the son of Krishna, I see Krishna in every being. This should not be difficult to understand. It is neither an association nor a vision, but a fact. When a devotee sees a cat or dog, he sees Krishna in him. He knows that a cat, for instance, is a living being, and that due to his past deeds, he has received the body of a cat. This is due to his forgetfulness. The devotee helps the cat by giving it some Krishna prasad so that someday the cat will come to Krishna consciousness. This is seeing Krishna in the cat. The devotee does not think, oh, here is Krishna, let me embrace this cat and serve this cat as, as God. Such thinking is nonsensical. If one sees a tiger, he does not say, oh, here is Krishna, come on, please eat me. <laughs> the devotee does not embrace all beings as Krishna, but rather sympathizes with every living being because he sees all beings as part and parcel of Krishna. In this way, the true yogi observes me in all beings. This is real vision. Whatever is done in Krishna consciousness, knowingly or unknowingly, will have its effect. Children who bow down or try to vibrate Krishna's name or clap during Kirtan are actually accumulating so much in their bank account of Krishna consciousness. Fire will act, whether one is a child or an adult. If a child touches fire, the fire will burn. The fire does not say, oh, I will not burn him. He is a child and does not know. No, the fire will always act as fire. Similarly, Krishna is the Supreme Spirit and if a child partakes in Krishna consciousness, he will be affected. Krishna will act whether the child knows or does not know. <clears throat> Every living being should be given a chance to partake of Krishna consciousness because Krishna is there and will act. Therefore, everyone is being inv invited to come and take prasad because this prasad will someday take effect. We should be careful not to make the mistake of thinking that everyone is Krishna. Rather, we should see Krishna in everyone. Krishna is all-pervading. Why is he to be seen only in human beings? As stated in Brahma Samhita, he is also present within the atom. Andantarasta paramanu chayantarastam. The word paramanu means atom, and we should understand that Krishna is present within every atom. A true yogi observes me in all beings and also sees every being in me. How does the yogi see every being in me? This is possible because the true yogi knows that everything that we see is Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay, who wants to continue? From this yes, I would like to continue. Yes, Prabhu. Very well. Yes. We are, sitting, we are sitting on this floor 
or on this carpet but in act uh, actuality we are sitting on krishna we should know this to be a fact how this is a carpet krishna it is krishna because it is made of krishna's energy the supreme lord has various energies of which there are three preliminary divisions material energy spiritual energy and marginal energy parasya shaktir vividhaiva shruyate we living entities are marginal energy the material world is material energy and the spiritual world is spiritual energy we are marginal energy in the sense that we can be either spiritually or materially situated there is no third alternative either we become materialistic or spiritualist as long as we are in the material world we are seated on the material energy therefore we are situated in krishna because krishna's energy is not separate from krishna a flame contains both uh, squire to prove yeah a flame contain a flame contains both heat and illumination two energies neither the heat nor the illumination are separate from the flame therefore in one sense heat is fire and illumination is fire but uh, they can be distinguished similarly the this material energy is also krishna and although we are thinking that we are sitting on this floor we are actually sitting on krishna therefore it is stated a self realized man sees me everywhere seeing krishna everywhere means uh, seeing every living being as well as everything else in relationship to krishna in the seventh chapter of bhagavad gita 7.8 shlot krishna tells arjuna how he can be seen in various manifestation raso ham apso kanteya prahasmi sasi surayo pranava sarva vedeshu shabda ke purusham narsu o son of kunti arjuna i am the taste of water the light of the sun and the moon the syllable om in the vedic mantras i am the sound in either an ability in man water is drunk by all living entities and is needed by birds beast and uh, uh, man it is not it is not only used for drinking but for washing and for cultivating plants as well a soldier on the battlefield can understand how important water is when fighting soldier a perfection of for the uh, perfection of the super soul come thirsty and if, <clears throat> if they have no water they die once a person has learned the philosophy of bhagavad gita whenever he drinks water he sees krishna and when dogs uh, when when does a day pass when we do not drink water this is a way of krishna consciousness i am the light of the sun and the moon so whether in the day or in the night we see either sunshine or moonshine and how then can we this then this is the way of perfect yoga we have to see krishna everywhere and at all times yomam prasayati sarvatra sarvam cha mai prasai prasayati tasyam na prasayami sache me na pranasyati for one who sees me everywhere and see everything in me i am never lost nor he nor is he never uh, is ever lost to me bhavadita 6.30 This is sada tad bhava bhavat bhavata bhavita ha. Always remembering Krishna. If we practice living in this way, we never lose Krishna and are never lost to Krishna. And the time of death, we are therefore surely sure to go to Krishna. If we are not lost to Krishna, where can we go but to Krishna? In the ninth chapter, Krishna tells Arjuna, "Kanteya pati janati naame bhakta pranishati." Bhagavad Gita 9.31. O son of Kunti, declare it bodily, boldly. that my devotee never precises simply don't lose sight of krishna that is a perfection of life we can't forget everything else but we should never forget krishna if we can remember krishna we are in the richest of men richest of men even though people may see us as uh, very poor all the rupa goswami and sanatan goswami were learned scholar and very opulent minister they adopted the poor life of mendi uh, mendicants In this Shri Shri Shad Goswami Ashtaka, verse four, Shri Nivasa Acharya thus describes the six Goswamis. Tadvata Turnam Aisha Mandala Pati Shenim Sada Tichva Ko Karunaya Kopina Katha Shri To Gopi Bhava Rasa Mrit Tadhi Lahari Kallula Mangno Muhur. vande rupa sanatana raghu yogyo shri jiva gopal ko i offer my respectful obeisances the six, uh, the six goswamis shri uh, uh, why is it 
रूप गोस्वामी श्री सनातन गोस्वामी श्री रघुनाथ भट्ट गोस्वामी श्री रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी श्री जीवा गोस्वामी एंड श्री गोपाल भट्ट गोस्वामी who cast off all aristocratic uh, uh, association as insignificant to deliver poor condition souls they accepted loin clothes and become uh, mendicants but they were always merged in the ecstatic uh, ecstatic uh, ocean of the gopis love for krishna and they were always bathing repeatedly in the waves of that ocean the words kopina kan thasri to indicate that the goswamis were simply wearing underwear and a loan coat and nothing else <laughs> in other words they accepted the poorest way of life as mendicants generally if one is habituated to living according to the higher standard he cannot immediately lower his standard if a rich man accepts such a poor condition uh, condition he cannot live but the goswamis but the goswamis live very happily how was this possible gopi bhava uh, rasam rasamra tabdhi लहरी कल्लो मगनो मुहूर् वंदे रूप सनातन रघु युगयो श्री जीवा गोपाल गो दे वर एक्चुअली रिच बिकॉज दे वर कॉन्स्टेंटली डिपिंग दम सेल्स इन द ओशन ऑफ द लविंग अफेयर्स ऑफ द गोपीज इफ वन सिंपली थिंग्स ऑफ द गोपीज लव फॉर कृष्णा वन इज नॉट लॉस्ट देर आर मेनी वेज टू नॉट मेनी वेज नॉट टू लूज साइट ऑफ कृष्णा इफ यू डू नॉट लूज साइट ऑफ कृष्णा देन वी विल नॉट बी लॉस्ट ए पर्सन इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस सर्टनली सी इज लॉट कृष्णा एवरीवेर and see every uh, he sees everything in krishna such a person may appear to see all separate manifestation of the material energy material nature but in each and every instance he is conscious of krishna knowing that everything is the manifestation of krishna's energy krishna's energy not without krishna and krishna is the lord of everything this is the basic principle of krishna consciousness how does the devotee know that everything uh, everything is the manifestation of krishna krishna's energy first of all krishna conscious person is a philosopher if he sees a tree he thinks what is this tree he then sees that the tree has a material body just as he has a material body and that tree is also living entity but due to the tree past misdeeds he has obtained such an abominable body that he cannot even move the tree's body is material material energy and the develop automatically questions whose energy krishna's energy therefore the tree is connected to krishna being a living entity the tree is part and parcel of krishna in this way the krishna conscious person does not <coughs> does uh, does not see the tree but sees the krishna's present that is krishna consciousness you don't see the tree you see krishna that, uh, that is the perfection of yoga and that is also samadhi krishna consciousness is a development of love of krishna a position transcendent position transcendental event to material liberation why does the krishna conscious person take such a account of the tree because he has love for krishna if you love your child and your child is away you think of him when you see this sh uh, shoes you think oh uh, oh this is my dear dear child shoe it is not that you love the shoe but uh, but the child the shoe however evokes that love similarly as soon as we see krishna's energy manifested in a living entity we love that entity because we love krishna therefore we love if you love krishna universal love is accounted for otherwise universal love is nonsensical because it is not possible to love everybody without loving krishna if you love krishna universal love is automatically there without being krishna conscious a person may say here is my american brother and here is my indian brother now let us eat this cow such a person may look on other human as brother but he looks on the cow as food is, is this universal love as krishna conscious person however thinks oh here is a cow here is a dog that is part and parcel of krishna but somehow or other they have acquired different bodies this does not mean that they are not my brothers how can i kill and eat my brothers this is a true universal love rooted in love for krishna without such krishna consciousness there is no question of love at all krishna conscious is a stage beyond civilization which the devotee becomes one with krishna in the sense that krishna becomes everything for the devotee and the devotee becomes full in loving krishna an intimate relationship between the lord and the devotee then exists in that stage the living entity attains this immortality not this personality of godhead ever out of sight of the devotee to merge in krishna spiritual annihilation devotee takes no such risk it is stated in the brahma samhita 
प्रेमांजना चुरीता भक्ति विलोचन न संता सद्वैया हृदयु विलोकायती यम श्याम सुंदरम अचिंत गुना स्वरूप गोविंद आदि पुरुषम तमहम Lord Govinda, who is always seen by the devotee, whose eyes are anointed with the pulp of love, is seen in his eternal form of Sham Sundara, situated within the heart of the Sundara. Karta mein mission always within his heart. At this stage, Lord Krishna never disappeared from the side of the devotee. Not does the devotee ever lost sight, uh, ever lost sight of the Lord. In the case of a yogi who sees the Lord as Paramatma within the heart, the same applies. Such a yogi turns into a within himself. This is a real, uh, our order supplier. We cannot demand, come and show yourself. No, we every moment and everywhere. Sarva bhuta sthitaham yomam. Then Prabhu. Sarva bhuta sthitaham yomam bhajate ekatmavam asthita. लोटस फ्लावर Right. This manifestation of Vishnu, which is the yogi's object of concentration, is Krishna's plenary portion, as stated in Brahma Samhita 5.48. Yashita nishvasita kalam atha valam vya jivanti loma vila ja jagat anda natha Vishnu mahan sa iha yasya kala visheso Govindam adi purusham tamham bhajami. So, uh, what's next, Prabhu? Hmm. The Brahmans and other lords of the mundane worlds will appear from the pores of Mahavishnu and remain alive for the duration of his own exhalation. Exhalation. I adore the premier lord Govinda for Mahavishnu is a portion of his plenary portion. The word Govindam Adi Purusham Tama Ham Bajami. I worship Govinda, the premier lord, are most important. The word Adi means original and Purusham means the lord as the original male and in, in, original enjoyer. And who is that? Who, uh, who is this Govinda, whose plenary portion is Mahavishnu? And what is the function of Mahavishnu? In every universe, there is a primary origin living entity known as Brahma. The li- life of Brahma is the life of the universe, and this life exists during only one breathing period, exhalation and inhalation of the Mahavishnu. The Mahavishnu lies on the causal ocean, and when he exhales, millions of universes issue from his body. As bubble and then develop. When the Mahavishnu inhales, these millions of universes return with him, and this is called the process of annihilation. That, in a sense, is the position of these material universes. Uh, <clears throat> universes return with him, and and uh, this is called process of annihilation. That, in a sense, this is the process a, a position of these material universes. They come out from the body of Mahavishnu and then again return. In the ninth chapter of Bhagavad Gita, nine point seven, it is also indicated that these material universes are manifested ma- manifest at a certain period and are then annihilated. Sarva bhuta ni kanteya prakriti myanti mami kam kalpa kshaya punastani kalpa do vish vishir jami aham. O son of Kunti, at the end of the millennium, every material manifestation enters into my nature, and at the end, at the beginning of another millennium. By my potency, I again create. The creation, maintenance, and annihilation of the material cosmic manifestation are completely depend on the supreme will of the personality of God. At the end of the millennium means that the death of Brahma. Brahma lives for one hundred years and is one day is calculated at this number and uh, of our earthly years. This uh, his. 
His night is uh, of the same duration. His month consists of 30 such days and night. And his years of 12th month. After 100 such years, when Brahma dies, the devastation of annihilation takes place. This means that the energy manifested by the Supreme Lord is again wound up by in himself. That is, the Mahavishnu inhales. Then again, when there is a need to manifest the cosmic world, it is done by his own uh, by his will. Although I am one, I shall become many. This is a Vedic aphorism. aphorism. He expands himself in his material energy and whole cosmic manifestation again take place. So, anyone would like to continue? Thank you so much, Prabhu. So who wants to read next? Okay. So is it from since the entire creation? Yes, Prabhu. All right. Since, okay. Since the entire creation and annihilation of the material universe depends on the exhalation and inhaling of exhaling and inhaling of the Mahavishnu, we can hardly imagine the magnitude of that Mahavishnu. And yet it is said that this Mahavishnu is but a planetary portion of the planetary portion of Krishna, who is the original Govinda. The Mahavishnu enters into each universe as Garbho Dakshayasi Vishnu and Garbho Dakshayasi Vishnu further expand as Siroka Kasai Vishnu and it is this Vishnu from that enters in the heart of every living entity. In this way, Vishnu is manifest throughout the creation. Thus, the yoga concentrates their mind, the yogis concentrate their mind on the uh, Kisiro Dakshai Sasi Vishnu from, from within the heart. Okay, as stated in the last chapter of Bhagavad Gita, chapter 18, verse uh, 61. Iswara Sarva Bhutam Ridese Ridesjuna Tistahati Brahman Sarva Bhutani Yantara Dudani Maya Maya Maya. The Supreme Lord is situated in everyone's heart, O Arjuna, and is directing the wandering of all living entities who are seated as on a machine made of material energy. Thus, according to the yogic process, the yogi finds out where the Sri Keshiro Daksaisi Vishnu is situated within the heart and when he finds this form there, he concentrates on him. The yogi should know that this Vishnu is not different from Krishna. Krishna in this form of super soul is situated in everyone's heart. Furthermore, there is no difference between the innumerable super soul present in the innumerable hearts of living entities. For example, there is only one sun in the sky, but this sun may be reflected in millions of buckets of water. Or one may ask millions and trillions of people, where is the sun? And each will say, over my head, the sun is one, but it is reflected countless times. According to the Vedas, the living entities are innumerable and there is no possibility of counting them. Just as the sun can be reflected in countless bucket of water, Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, can live in each and everyone's heart. It is this form that in Krishna's plenary portion, it is this form on which the yogi concentrates. One who is engaged in Krishna consciousness is already a perfect yogi. In fact, there is no difference between a Krishna conscious devotee always engaged in the transcendental loving service of Krishna and a perfect yogi engaged in meditation on the super soul. There is no difference between a yogi in samadhi in a trance meditating on the Vishnu form and a Krishna consciousness person, conscious person engaged in different activities. The devotee, even though engaged in various activities while in material existence, remain always situated in Krishna. This is confirmed in the Vakti Rasam Nita Sindhu of Srila Rupa Goswami, Nikilasa Apai Avastasu Jivan Muktesa Uchayate. A devotee of the Lord always acting in Krishna consciousness is automatically liberated. This is also confirmed in the 14th chapter of Bhagavad Gita. 
ममचा यो वया विचारने वक्ति योजना सेवते सा गुणन समितायतन वर्मा ब्रह्मा भूयाया कल्पते वन हु एंगेजेस इन फुल डिवोशनल सर्विस हु डज नॉट फॉल डाउन इन एनी सरकमटेंस एट वंस ट्रांसेंस द मोड ऑफ मटेरियल नेचर एंड दस कम्स टू द लेवल ऑफ ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मा thus the devotee engaged in unalloyed devotional service has uh, prabhu can you scroll please uh, yeah has already transcended the material modes of nature being situated on the brahman platform means being liberated there are three platforms the bodily or the sensational the mental and the spiritual the spiritual platform is called the brahman platform and liberation means being situated on that platform being conditioned soul we are presently situated on the bodily or sensational platform those who are a little advanced speculate uh, speculators philosophers are situated on the mental platform above this above this is the platform of liberation or brahman realization that the devotee always acting in krishna consciousness let me mute this bit yeah that the devotee always acting in krishna consciousness is automatically situated on the liberated platform of brahman is also confirmed in the narada pansaratra panchatatra okay dik kala de an an anava sine krishne cheto vidahe cha तन मायो वावती किसी प्रम जीवो ब्रह्मनी योजाते योजायत बाय कंसेंट्रेटिंग वन्स अटेंशन ऑन द ट्रांसेंडेंटल फॉर्म ऑफ कृष्णा हु इज ऑल प्रिवेडिंग एंड बियॉन्ड टाइम्स एंड स्पेस वन बिकम्स अब्जॉर्ब इन थिंकिंग ऑफ कृष्णा एंड देन अटेंड्स द हैप्पी स्टेट ऑफ ट्रांसेंडेंटल एसोसिएशन विथ हिम कृष्णा कंसियसनेस इज द हाइएस्ट स्टेज ऑफ द ट्रांसेंड योगा प्रैक्टिस this very understanding that krishna is present as parmatma in everyone's heart makes the yogi faultless the veda confirm this inconceivable potency of the lord as follows yako pisan babu babuda ya yo bhavati aisvardya rupam ekam cha suryavad bahudyate okay vishnu is one and yet he is certainly all pervading by his inconceivable potency in spite of his one form he is present everywhere as the sun he appears in many places places as uh, at once atmau pamanye sarvatra samam pasyati yo juna sukham bhavadi va dukham सा योगी परमो मत ही इज परफेक्ट योगी हू बाय कंपेरिजन टू हिज ओन सेल्फ सी इज ट्रू क्वालिटीज ऑफ ऑल बींग्स बोथ इन देयर हैप्पीनेस एंड डिस्ट्रेस ओ अर्जुन इन भगवत गीता चैप्टर सिक्स वर्स थर्टी टू दिस इज ट्रू यूनिवर्सल विजन इट इज नॉट दैट गॉड इज सिटिंग इन माई हार्ट एंड नॉट इन द हार्ट ऑफ ए डॉग हाउ डॉग कैट और काउ sarva bhutam bhutanam means that he is sitting in the hearts of all living entities in the human heart and in the ants heart the only difference is that cats and dogs can't realize this a human being if he tries to follow the sankha yoga or bhakti yoga system is able to understand and this is the prerogative of human life if we miss this opportunity we suffer a great loss for we have undergone the evolutionary process and have passed through more than 8 million species of life in order to get this human form we should therefore be conscious of this and careful not to miss this opportunity we have a good body the human form and intelligence and civilization we should live like animals we should not live like animals and struggle hard for existence but should utilize our time thinking peacefully and understanding our relationship with the supreme lord this is the instruction of bhagavad gita don't lose this opportunity utilize it properly hey krishna thank you so much hey, for being here hey, now let's go to six sastha comparers
ಚೇತು ದಾರ್ಪಣಮಾರ್ಜನಂ ಪವಮಃ ದಾವಾಗ್ನಿರ್ವಾಪನ ಶ್ರೇಯ ಕೈರವಚಂದ್ರಿಕಾ ವಿತರಣ ವಿದ್ಯಾವಾದೂ ಜೀವನ ಆನಂದ ಪುತಿವರ್ಧನ ಪ್ರತಿಪದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾಮೃತಸ್ವಾದನ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮಾಸ್ನಪನ ಪರಂ ವಿಜಯತೆ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಮಾನದೇನೀರ್ತನೀಯ ಸದಾ ಹರಿ ಕಿಂಕರಂಪತಿಂಕಜಸ್ಥಿತ ಯುಗಾಯಿತ ನಿಮೇಶೇನ ಚಕ್ಷುಷಾ ಪ್ರಾವಿರ್ಷಾಯಿತ ಶೂನ್ಯಾಯಿತ ಜಗತ್ಸರ್ವ ಗೋವಿಂದ ವಿರಹೇ ನ ಮೇ ಮೂನ್ It is the life of all transcendental knowledge. It increases the ocean of transcendental bliss and it enables us to fully taste the nectar for which we are always anxious. Oh my Lord, your holy name alone can render all benediction to living entities. And thus you have hundreds and millions of names, like Krishna and Govinda. In these transcendental names you have invested all your transcendental energies. There are not even hard and fast rules for chanting these names. Oh my lord out of your kindness you enable us to easily approach you by your holy names but i am so unfortunate that i have no attraction for them one should chant the holy name of the lord in a humble state of mind thinking oneself lower than the straw in the street one should be more tolerant than a tree devoid of all senses of salt false prestige and should be ready to offer all respect to others in such a state of mind one can chant the holy name of the lord constantly o oh, oh almighty lord i have no desire to accumulate wealth nor do i desire beautiful women nor do i want any number of followers i only want your causeless devotional service birth after birth oh son of maharaj nanda krishna i am a devotional servitor yet somehow or other i have fallen into the ocean of birth and death please pick me up from the ocean of death and place me as one of the atoms at your lotus feet 
Oh my Lord, when will my eyes be decorated with tears of love, flowing constantly when I chant your holy name? When will my voice choke up and when will the hairs of my body stand on end at recitations of your name? Oh, Govinda. Oh, Govinda. Yeah. 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 I'm con uh, considering a moment to be like 12 years or more. Tears are flowing from my eyes like torrents uh, of rain, and I am feeling all that in, in the world in your absence. I know no one but Krishna as my Lord, and he shall remain so even if he handles me roughly by his embrace or makes me brokenhearted by not being present before me. He is completely free to do anything and everything, for he is always my worshipable Lord, unconditionally. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Thank you so much, Prabhu.